Hey, I'm Adam Jusko, and this is Strictly Credit Cards, where we talk about Strictly Credit Cards. Subscribe, why don't you? In this video, we are going to review the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa. The U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa, one of the best no annual fee credit cards out there. If cashback rewards is something that fits your desires, not necessarily the first card that I would say you should get if you are trying to sort of build a number of cards that give you decent rewards, but a very good complimentary card because it has some really nice enhanced categories. So the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa, as I said, no annual fee card. Its biggest selling point is the fact that it gives you 5% cash back in two categories that you choose from a list of a dozen categories, purchasing categories that U.S. Bank provides. The nice thing about these 5% categories, in addition to the fact that they are 5% cash back, is that many of these categories are ones that you can't easily find enhanced rewards with other credit cards on the market. In particular, some categories that really look good are TV, internet, and streaming. You have wireless phone bills that you can get 5% back on, home utilities. If you are making a big furniture purchase, you could choose to have furniture stores as one of your 5% categories, and then there are others as well. You get that 5% cash back on up to $2,000 in purchases in those two 5% categories that you choose combined each calendar quarter. So if you go beyond $2,000 in spending in those two 5% categories, the purchases beyond $2,000 are going to earn 1% cash back. Now each calendar quarter, you do have to enroll your 5% categories, meaning you have to specifically choose your categories and let US Bank know what they are. A lot of the stuff you can just do online, but you do have to specifically say that you want these two 5% categories, even if they are the same 5% categories that you had the prior quarter. So you do have to make sure that you sort of stay on top of that. Otherwise, you're only going to get 1% in those categories, even if you were getting 5% the quarter before. So you have to make sure that you enroll each quarter in order to make that happen. Sometimes the categories do change from quarter to quarter and there will be something new or something will go away and you have the option to change yourself each calendar quarter from whatever is available. So if you chose, you know, wireless phone and utilities in one quarter, that doesn't mean you have to stick with those the next quarter. In addition to those 5% categories, each quarter you get to choose one 2% cashback category from the following three groceries, gas stations, restaurants. So each calendar quarter, you're going to choose one of those to get 2% in. Again, you have to choose them each calendar quarter and sort of enroll them and you can switch them off from quarter to quarter if you choose. No cap on the 2% categories. So where there was that $2,000 cap on the 5% categories, no cap on the 2%. And then anything else with this card that you buy, you are going to get 1% cash back. You can redeem your rewards from this card in a number of ways. Number one, you could choose to put them into a U.S. bank checking, savings, or money market account. Number two, you could choose to take them as a statement credit, meaning they go against purchases you have made with this card, meaning that you would reduce your bill by the amount of the rewards you had in that particular month when you redeem. You also can take the rewards on a U.S. bank rewards debit card, essentially. You do have to have $25 in rewards rewards before you could get that card. I see this as the less attractive of the options available to you. Now there also is the U.S. Bank real-time rewards program that needs to be mentioned here. With this program, when you make purchases with your U.S. Bank card, U.S. Bank will text you assuming that you have some rewards built up and say you just made this purchase for X amount, do you want to use your rewards to essentially pay for that purchase? And you can say yes or no. This is really not a whole lot different than taking a statement credit, but it is a way to sort of feel like, hey, I just got something free. I just made a purchase and now my rewards paid for it. Now let's talk bonus for new card holders. As I make this video, if you spend at least $500 with the US Bank Cash Plus Visa in the first 90 days of having it, you're going to earn a $150 bonus. 
Let's talk rates and fees. I have already told you this is a no annual fee card. The interest rate range, as I make this video, anywhere from 13.99% to 23.99%, which means, assuming you are approved, you would be given an interest rate somewhere in that range. The low end, not so bad in today's credit card market. Obviously, above 20% is not where you want to be. We would always suggest that you don't ever carry a balance on your credit cards, and if you don't, then you won't have to worry about what the interest rate is. But if you ever do carry a balance, better to be on that low end than on the high end. This card does not have any sort of 0% offer on new purchases. Sometimes cards will offer that to new card holders, give you 0% for a certain period of time. This card does not have that. On the balance transfer end, if you transfer a balance from another credit card onto this credit card, you would get a 0% rate on that transferred balance for 12 months, which means you could let it sit there for 12 months while you pay it off and they wouldn't charge you any interest. However, there is a 3% balance transfer fee that comes up front. So if you move a balance from another card onto this one, you will pay a one-time 3% fee of the amount of uh, that you have transferred onto this card, but then you wouldn't have to pay interest on that balance for those 12 months. All right, so what are your chances of being approved for the U.S. Bank Cash Plus Visa? Well, this is a card that has some pretty nice rewards, so that probably means you're going to have to have a little higher credit score. I would say that 700 is sort of the dividing line where I would think over 700, you have a decent chance. The high 600s, maybe. If you're getting below that, probably not. Now, U.S. Bank has unlike some banks, probably more sensitivity to if you have opened other credit cards in the recent past. So if you have a lot of credit cards in the last year or two years, U.S. Bank is less likely to approve you for this one. They like it better if you don't have a whole lot of other cards open. U.S. Bank also likes it if you have other accounts with them. So if you have a checking account, a savings account, a money market account, U.S. Bank is going to look at you more favorably for this card. So take all that into consideration if you are concerned considering applying. You can potentially get an instant approval on this card if you apply for it online. Obviously, that's not going to happen for everyone, but if your credit score is up to snuff and maybe if you have kind of meet the other qualifications that I just talked about, you potentially could be instantly approved. So overall, like I said at the beginning of this video, a very nice no annual fee rewards card. You have 5% categories that are generous and are sort of not necessarily what you would find elsewhere on the market. So you can get 5% in things where you couldn't easily get enhanced rewards from other credit cards. You have a decent bonus for a no annual fee card. Like I also said, not necessarily the card that would be first out of my wallet if I was not using it for those enhanced categories. So you have those 5% categories and your choice of the 2% categories, but everything else is only going to get you 1%. So there are plenty of cards on the market where you could get 1.5% or 2% on all of your purchases. So it would be nice to have those for purchases that fall outside of the enhanced categories here. However, this certainly would not be a bad choice regardless of whether you pulled it out first or second uh, from your wallet. Good complimentary card, but if you use it for your every day, you certainly would not be unhappy. So that is it from this video. If you have any questions, comments, please put those in the comments section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.